Good morning everyone, my name is Marta from Cooking the World and in this video we would like to show you the food that you can get in Alpine pastries. We are now on our holiday in the German Alps, is the region called Allgäu and today we would like to hike Große Schlecke, which is a mountain that is 2059 meter high so um, it's gonna take us about six hours there and back it's not the longest trail that we did but it's also not the shortest one it's actually my favorite thing to do when i'm on holiday in the mountains so i am very excited about it and i don't know what it is about the food in those alpine pastures but it always tastes better than here on the ground this video is going to be a little different than the previous videos of ours because this time I would like to show you the whole experience. So um, how we hike and the views and then obviously the food as well. Remember, if walking in the Alps, it is safety first, so we always get prepared for the hike properly. The plan was to reach the top of the mountain and then of course get some food. After one hour walk, we have managed to get to this alpine pasture when we really wanted to eat. But it was still too early to eat and we decided to have a late lunch on the way back um, from our hike. To find the hike trails is sometimes very confusing, especially when in the mountains there is no reception. But in the end we did find a right way. And this is now the best sound that you can get in the Alps. We did enjoy the peace and quiet. And the further we went, the hike got pretty adventurous. And in the end we had to use our equipment only once. When we were close to the top, um, the sky got pretty cloudy, but in the end we did have a lovely view. From the top of the mountain, from one side, we could see all these beautiful seas that are located um, in Germany. And at that point I burned already 914 calories and I was so hungry. We actually rushed the food. And after around two hours, as far as I remember, uh, we got to the Alpe and um, I had my Almdudla. If you ever wonder what to drink in Austria, that would be a soft drink that you should get. Almdudla is a beverage uh, that is sweetened and made of herbal extracts. Matthias went for another specialty from the Alps. The drink is called Moren and it is a wheat beer that is mixed with coke. The dish that we always go for in the Austrian Alps are the spinach dumplings, so spinatknödel, that are usually served with a lot of butter and cheese on the top, also sometimes parmesan. So Austrians always make knödel each time when they don't know what to put on the table. The dumplings contain few ingredients and are really not difficult to make. To make those you're gonna need some spinach, old bread rolls, onions, garlic, egg, some milk and spices and I will put the link to the recipe um, down below so you can have a look if you are interested how to make them. And I went for the very similar dish, which are uh, Specknudel, so dumplings uh, with bacon. They are usually served with a sauerkraut and a sauce. This dumpling recipe is very similar um, to a Spinatknudel, but instead of spinach you actually use bacon. The bacon dumplings were actually very nice and the warm sauerkraut with a roast sauce was amazing. I love those dumplings and it's a shame that we don't make them at home as often. 
then I guess they wouldn't just taste as good as they taste there. And the second time when we wanted to go for a kayak, we decided to visit Ottomaya Hütte. And this is a mountain cabin that is very well known for great food, so we have decided to hike for food. The hike was very long, but not as intense as the previous one. It took us less than two hours to reach Otto Maya Hütte for an 8km hike. On the menu there we have seen something what we have never seen before and those are the Anden Pekle, so we decided to take those and obviously we decided to go also for Spinat Knödel. The view from the terrace was amazing. Dining in the mountain cabin is just great because you are so far away from the busy world. There is also no reception and one of the best views that you can find. So as soon as you get there, you remember the number of the table because that's what you need to tell um, the guys when you order the food. And those beauties were my Anden Tekle, which were dumplings that were filled with uh, spinach and served with a cheese sauce and cheese on the top. The dumplings were fried and they were very delicious, especially the sauce. To drink, I already ordered my Almdula. Matthias was obviously pretty jealous about my food, so he really wanted to try it. It is okay, we always share the food. Matthias did go for um, his favorite uh, spinach dumplings uh, that we had also in the uh, previous mountain cabin. They did look uh, a little bit different uh, than the previous ones and were served instead of the normal cheese uh, with a parmesan and were definitely a lot more softer than the previous ones. Matthias said that he liked those uh, more. At some point we also decided to switch the plates because the dumpling looked so great and my dish was so unusual. So it was win-win. After the meal they kindly ask you to put the plates away, which is obviously not a problem. Just right next to Ottomaya Hütte there is another uh, mountain cabin which is called Füssener Hütte and I think that it actually belongs to the uh, city of Füssen. We went there obviously to check the menu. If I had some space I would definitely go for the Hausgemachte Kaspressknödel, which are dumplings filled with cheese and Kaiserschmarrn. But this we're going to show you in the next video. I hope that you did enjoy the hikes and the ocean food. Take care, safe travels and I see you in the next one. Bye!